You're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. We are back at one of my favorite Reno businesses, Palace Jewelry and Loan. If you've been watching our show recently, we did the story, the history of Palace Jewelry and Loan. And the response to that, community response, overwhelming. Yeah, it really, really was an overwhelming um, response to the show. I mean, Reno's really always been kind of a shop, uh, local, and really support uh, local families, but it has been such an overwhelming response that we were just really wanted to thank the, uh, the local community, the, your audience, and everybody in the surrounding. We've just gotten a, an amazing response to this. You're right, the response was overwhelming. We had people asking for more, and I presented that to you, and you came up with a, an idea I love. Yes, I, I had the idea that uh, after watching the show back and listening to the people that we've talked to, we like to keep up with the family history, the history of Reno, and in the pawn business, some of the other shows kind of just do buying and they're more dramatic and everything. This is more of a really serious business to help people find money that can't use normal institutions to go find money. Some people may be able to use traditional institutions, but that process takes too long as well and they can come in here in five minutes, walk out with a loan. One of the things you said to me is that you wanted to tell the full story about the palm business and you felt that uh, the current shows really don't tell the whole story. Let's talk about the whole story of the palm business. One, you mentioned it is there to provide a financial resource to the community. Uh, but the diversity of things that you carry here, it's also a great place to shop. Let's be honest about that. Right. Well, the, the, to keeping with the first part of your, your question is... Yeah, even though some people can go to a bank and get a loan, they may choose to bring in some of their items because they may need a, some quick money to close on a piece of real estate. They may need to, you know, just go ahead and make a payment on a, a, their a daughter's car or something, and it's a lot quicker and a lot less hassle, and we're not connected with any uh, credit firms or anything else. Now, the items that uh, will get real fun about the show is what's coming out of Pawn. And, or what we've you know, put away for years and it's been in the family and it all has history and it's all up for sale and on and on and on. One of the things that we talked about as well was featuring things that people can actually come in and buy. There isn't a show out there that does that. Items that are off of pawn, items that you have here in your store. You have musical instruments here, some of them highly collectible, not just instruments to be played. And one of them very right here, very valuable right behind us. Yes, we do, and that particular guitar that's kind of faced that direction right now, it's, you know, each one's handmade, it's a signature item, it's going to be featured on one of the shows. You'll have to tune in to watch on that one. And though. that's <laughs> what we realized is there's so much to do, so much to talk about, so many things constantly happening. And the interesting thing I think is going to fascinate our viewers as they start to follow these series that we're going to do, they're going to get to see some of the fun things they can come in and actually buy that they wouldn't have guessed that we're here. You mean like a foosball table? Like a foosball table. <laughs> One of the things that we're going to introduce on your segments is the side of the pawn business that people may be completely unaware exists. That when somebody has a specific item that they want, you'll help them find it. Uh, absolutely, and that's one of the keys that we do as more, not, I don't know if it's a, a side of the pawn industry, but it is what we do, is if somebody knows exactly what they want, and people got much better things to do than, you know, try to run an item down, and we're connected with almost every pawn shop in the country. We're also connected, you know, through other items where we can locate a specific item. I mean, example, I had a very wealthy person in town had me hunt down an extremely expensive watch over a million dollars. We tracked it down and he got it. It wasn't for me, but we'll help somebody get what they're looking for. I think people are going to be fascinated with that as a conversation because you're talking about sometimes very rare, very collectible, very desirable items. And for somebody that just, like you said, that's, they have better things to do with their time, but they really want this. Mm -hmm and they wouldn't even know where to begin to look 
and you know exactly where to find it. Yeah, they're, say if they see a watch, let's use an example, at a Rolex store, brand new for X amount of money, and they know exactly which one. All I need really is either the photo or the model, and they get it to me, and I can track down from you know almost every country in the world um, is on the internet, and I can know how to reach these jewelers and these people and, and can hunt down that exact model, that exact watch, and save you a lot of money from retail. Joan, one of the things that we heard that people wanted to see more of, and the reason we're going to do these ongoing pieces with you, is the ladies seem to really love the show, specifically the jewelry. <laughs> the jewelry is beautiful. We get some one-of-a-kind pieces, and if you really think about it, everything that's in the store was somebody's favorite piece. So we have an array of gorgeous merchandise. And when I walk into a room, a lot of the ladies will want to know what I have on, what's new, and uh, they really enjoy looking at everything. And sometimes they want something for themselves. What we're going to get to do on this piece is show them a featured piece of jewelry on each of these episodes. And I'd love it if we could start maybe with that first installment of one of the most uh, valuable pieces that they can come in here will surprise people that this item exists at Palace Jewelry and Loan. So if you don't mind, let's show them this ring that you have available for sale. This is special and valuable. Tell me a little bit about that. This is a uh, 8.23 carat emerald cut diamond. It's probably somewhere between D and E color and it's VBS. Um, it's extraordinary. You'll have to tune in for the price and history of it. <laughs> so we will it's be- It's got a cute story too. <laughs> We're gonna take items and show them what's for sale and tell the stories about them and the values about them and, and really something not just that's for television, uh, what we'd call shock value, but something really come in and buy because they've been looking for something like that. And we're gonna do that with different pieces throughout the whole store, not just jewelry. Really excited uh, to, to be able to do this for our community and to share such an extraordinary business and family with our community. I'm so excited. And so what we're gonna do in about uh, a few weeks from now, Every couple of weeks, we're going to go visit Palace Jewelry and Loan. So keep checking See us out. See what the latest thing is. <laughs> See what the latest items are, how much fun they're having, and some of the stories and history of items and the family and the people that are coming in in the stories. And we're also going to take a real close look at the pawn business uh, like it's never been seen before. So thank you for that. So excited to have these features coming up and you'll be able to find them on our website nevadabusinesschronicles.com that's Joan and Lanny Mack and you can visit their website at thepalacejewelryandloan.com or give them a call at 775-322-2863 thank you so much You've for agreeing to allow us to do this I, I'm so excited for more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety visit nvbusinesschronicles.com while you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. Dog lovers, roll over. We're here today with Alex Melendez of Canine Cuties. Thanks so much for being on our show. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Mitch. <laughs> What's Canine Cuties? Yeah, so Canine Cuties is in your home pet sitting. Um, so we provide pet nannies coming into your home and taking care of the doggies um, so they're in their own environment. And I understand you will offer two different levels of that service. Yes, we do. So one of the services is an overnight stay. So say you're on vacation, so we actually stay overnight. The second service, say you're at work, you can't get home for lunchtime, we do hourly daily visits. So how did Canine Cuties get its start? So actually Canine Cuties started because I was using it as a stress relief. So during my first year of law school, I walked dogs just 
to have a little getaway for my own sense, but I started seeing there was so much demand and I saw so much joy it brought me. I decided to make a career change and I started Canine Cuties. That is quite the career change. Yes, definitely. <laughs> what distinguishes Canine Cuties from other services? I think the individualization that we provide all of our clients. So before we take on any clients, we do a meet and greet. That way I can start their file, get to know even, for example, what's their favorite toy, anything like that. So we give them that specific need that they, they actually want. Well, yeah. I understand one of your clients has agreed to allow us to show Canine Cuties in action. Yes. Let's take a look. Hi. Yes. Yeah, so I was wondering what types of services are you looking for, Rusty, here? Well, you know, I work long hours and, uh, you know, R Rusty is left here all alone by himself and oh. I feel really bad. I mean, he can go out and do his business, but he's still left here all mm. alone and mm. sometimes I have a little camera on him and um, I hear him cry sometimes and that just breaks my oh, heart. So you want somebody to come in, give him some loves, give him a walk, uh, just be here for him. And is that one of his favorite toys? I can kind of see. That is his favorite, yeah. He loves okay. that toy. All right, so just playing fetch. Do you think he likes playing fetch a good amount of time? He loves playing fetch. He loves yeah. just... Uh, he also loves uh, playing a pool with the rope. Okay, uh, a little tug of war. <laughs> yeah, and he's a puppy, so he just he's active with pretty much anything. Yeah. Well, Rusty <laughs> looks very happy. Yeah, and so does his owner. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm definitely happy that they're happy. <laughs> I can see where people that go to work every day could really benefit from this service, but I understand that it goes further than that. Some mm -hmm. animals are on medications that need to be administered while they're yes. at work and you can provide that service as well. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So that way it gives them peace of mind. So we, all of our pet nannies are pet CPR certified uh, and I'm an actual instructor for the Red Cross for pet CPR. So we know how to administer the medication, make sure if anything were to happen that we have the right tools for it. Well, that yeah. makes everybody happy and the dog yeah. safe and the owner even twice as happy. Exactly. <laughs> I understand there's another family that's going to be going on vacation and we're yes. going to get to talk about the house sitting. Let's go do that. Yes, perfect. Now this family has uh, gone on vacation for an extended period of time and you're providing overnight services. Yes, so they're actually away on vacation for two weeks and they have two little fur babies and they want somebody to be with them overnight, spend time with them. So that's the service that we provide and they sleep on the bed with us too. <laughs> that also provides a little added security because the home is occupied. So a little side benefit for that. Exactly, it gives them peace of mind. I can't wait to meet the Yorkies. Awesome. So this couple wanted us to do an overnight visit as well as a daily visit. So they didn't want them to be left alone for many hours. So what we do is we give them their fresh water, their fresh food, and we take them out on a walk during the daytime. And for the nighttime, that's when we have our sleepover and they sleep on the bed and everything with us. So what I'm doing here is I'm sending a text, a picture, and video message to the parents that are on vacation right now. So that way they have a timestamp as to when I was here. And also so they have a little gift of, oh my goodness, my dog is doing great. And they don't miss him quite as much. Oh look, we got a text from Canine Cuties. That was incredible. <laughs> they had fun. We had fun. Yes. <laughs> I'm noticing an undercurrent of a kind of retro look, 1950-ish. Yes. So why I like so much about the 1950s, it's just like the traditional values in regards to business that it brought. A lot of integrity, a lot of really good customer service, and that's what Canine Cuties wants to do. 
definitely were there for your fur baby. What does your fur baby need? So yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of people right now mm -hmm. that want to know how they can contact you to watch their fur babies. Yeah. How would they get a hold of you? Definitely. So Alex Melendez K9 Cuties, 775-722-0189. Or K9 Cuties, all spelled out. Dot net. That's Alex Melendez, K9 mm -hmm. Cuties. Thank you so much Great for friend. being on our show. Thank you. <laughs>
put onto a toy, for an example. Absolutely, that's a toy uh, propeller. Um, with the 3D model, we feed it into the printer, and within just a half an hour or so, we have something that we can give them. And they can fit it on their prototype uh, toy, if Absolutely. that's what they're manufacturing. Absolutely, it's dimensionally accurate, and, and it, for all intents and purposes, it serves the function to do fit checks and, and various other types of design criteria so that you can prove the concept before you actually go to production. Another exciting expansion here at Microtech Computers. That's Shane Polwart, Microtech Computer Systems and Business IT Services. Such a pleasure having you on our show again. Thank you, Mitch. And we're going to continue, if it's okay with you, to follow up with you and continue to talk about the important uh, facets in business IT services, if that's okay. Absolutely, that's Looking great. Looking forward to it. Me too. Make sure they know how to get a hold of you. Well, you can call us at 775-351-2211, or you can reach us online at www.microtechreno.com. In our community, there are individuals that devote their life to organizations that benefit our community. Today, we're with one of the finest examples of that. We're here with Paula Nielsen and Earl Nielsen, Executive Director and Board Chair of the Four Kids Foundation, and thank you so much for being on our show. Well, thank you for having us. If you wouldn't mind telling me a little bit about what 4Kids Foundation is and whom they serve. The 4Kids Foundation is a local nonprofit organization that provides financial assistance to children with any need when other resources are not available. Um, that means if they need medical attention and their parents can't afford it or the insurance won't cover it, or if they need glasses and the parents can't afford it. Any need a child has when there isn't another source to pay for it, the 4Kids Foundation will pay for it. Earl, how did 4Kids Foundation get its start? Well, in, in 2003, I was actually serving on a corporate board, the uh, Kids Behavioral Health Organization, and the uh, owner and director of that organization had a conference with me and a couple of other friends about each of us kept getting requests for services that we don't really provide, but could we help? And so we would call friends or we would call, you know, someone we thought might be able to assist with this and, and, and try to connect the dots for people. But, it, but there was no organization. And so finally, uh, we came up with the idea of uh, developing the Four Kids Foundation as an organization that would uh, collect some funding that we could distribute among children who fall through the cracks. I understand one of the families that the Four Kids Foundation has offered assistance for has agreed to share with us their experience. Yes, they have. Um, Maria and her daughter Lila are waiting to meet us. Mitch, I'd like to introduce you to Maria Barber. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. We've been providing financial assistance for her daughter Lila off and on for the last nine years. Wow, that's fantastic. I really appreciate you taking your time to talk with us about that today. My pleasure. Could you start telling us a little bit about your daughter, Lila? Sure. She's nine and a half. Uh, she's our first child, and she was born um, with cerebral palsy. So her cerebellum at the bottom, the base of her brain, is smaller than normal. It's not growing at a typical rate. So it impacts her physical sense, um, her cognitive. She has a little bit of a delay, maybe a, a year, year and a half delay. Um, special services at school, therapies every week, um, orthotics on her legs, special expensive treatments. And how did you first get involved with the 4Kids Foundation? Um, through a friend, uh, Lila was very little, one and a half to two years old, and she needed orthotics for her legs and they were $1,900 and our insurance was not covering them. So we didn't know what to do, we knew she needed these and a friend introduced us to 4Kids, thank, thank the Lord. Um, it really was a, a huge financial uh, burden lifted off the family. What other services over the last eight years has the 4Kids Foundation provided for Lila? Well, just recently this summer, we had the chance to do hyperbaric oxygen treatments for the entire eight weeks of summer break. Uh, we didn't know how we were going to afford it. They had a time slot for us. And it was really exciting because the, the research for cere cerebral palsy on, uh, with hyperbaric oxygen treatments has been unbelievable in the changes you see. It was $8,000 for the entire treatment, and four kids jumped in and helped out to, to make that possible for Lila. What I find interesting about this <clears> is <throat> this is rather new technology and not recognized by the insurance that Lila yeah. has. Correct. That anybody has, I think. Um, these, these alternative type treatments are never, never covered by insurance, and the alternative type treatments are the ones that you see the most impact. 
What an extraordinary organization that you have created for our community. On behalf of our community, I'd like to personally thank both of you for your work. Oh. And then I'm guessing right now there are some people watching that are thinking, how can I become involved? How can I support this wonderful organization? How would they go about doing that, Paul? Well, they can contact us and donate through our website, which is www.4kidsfoundation.org. There is a way to donate any amount through that website, or they can just call me and find out um, where they can send a check, and the number is 775-741-5231. Paula Nielsen, Executive Director for the Four Kids Foundation, and Earl Nielsen, Board Chair. I hope you enjoyed the show. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles.